Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to this live broadcast. Welcome to Workouts for Older Men Live. I am Skip LaCour, and I'm so glad you are here today. Hey, when you come out of this live broadcast, make sure that you say hello. Tell me where you are watching me from. Give me the Workouts for Older Men Live greeting. Say hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here. If you're watching the replay version, that's great, too. Post your questions, your comments your suggestions down below. I will give you a thumbs up. I'll acknowledge you. I'll give you a shout out. If you have questions, I will uh, link you to a blog post or another video on my skiplecore.com website. So take advantage of me. Take advantage of this opportunity to connect and post your questions, your comments, your suggestions down below. I am so glad you are here. Hey, in this video, I want to talk about how, when you lose body fat, it creates the illusion of much more size, more muscle. And this is something you really need to understand when you're a little bit older. You have a busy, productive life. You want to be effective and efficient with your willpower, focus, energy, and time. You got to know what you're doing from the start. If you don't understand what I am sharing with you here today, you're going to be off track. You're going to be going down the freeway, so to speak, going the wrong way, and you're going to be confused why you're not getting closer to your goals. And just like driving down that freeway, you're going to be concentrating, doing everything right. You're going to be on the gas pedal, uh, going the speed limit, or even harder, right? You want to get to that destination of being big, being ripped, being healthy, being fit, and you're not going to understand why uh, you're not getting closer, why everything doesn't look familiar. You're going down the wrong path, right? So it's so important that you understand this concept when it comes to health and fitness as we're a little bit older and we want to make the most out of our willpower, focus, energy, and time. And again, uh, so many men, uh, they, you know, work out with weights, right? I mean, we're guys, you know, we want to put on some size. Right? We want to get bigger. That's what weight training is for, right? We see all the visuals of all the videos out there. We lift weights, we get bigger. All right? You got to understand, though, is that bigger isn't necessarily better. All right? If, uh, just say we're, we're training with those weights hard and heavy, uh, but we're not watching our diet, and we know we have some body fat, all right? We want to lose that along the way. Maybe we think our uh, training routine is gonna help us lose that body fat, right? And what happens is our body fat, along with the muscle that we gain, all right, it just, uh, it's just, the muscle is marble with fat, giving us this illusion of size, all right? But we don't look the way that we want. We look in the mirror, and the, the scale might be going up, but we look nothing uh, close to the way we want, right? Have those round shoulders, the, the thin skin, uh, the, uh, the veins, maybe get rid of uh, the midsection that seems to sneak up on us now that we're a little bit older, the love handles, uh, the man boobs, even if you don't have just uh, really obvious man boobs, you know, just a little drooping, right? That's what happens when we get a little bit older with that body fat. And you think you're going to train your way with weights, right, to look that way. And you're training hard, you're training consistently, and you're not getting any closer. You're driving down that wrong way, the freeway. You gotta understand that at this age, at this age, now, you know me, I'm a positive guy, right? I come to you with, with energy, passion, tell you to keep on keeping on, that you can do this, you can crack the code, you can figure out the pattern. But if your expectations are a couple things, one, you're just gonna gain all this muscle at this age, being a little bit older, right? Like, nah, you know, I'll train hard, I'll gain 10 pounds of muscle. Hmm, probably not going to happen that way. You're going to gain ounces with your hard work. All right? lot, one guy said to me, if I'm only doing all this work and I'm only going to gain ounces, what's the point of weight training? What, what, do, you, what do you see with the, all those other guys? <laughs> all those guy, other guys your age who don't train that you look so much better than. They don't weight train. All right? So it's not an all or nothing. I gained 10 pounds or what's the use of it? Look how great you look compared to them. They're, they don't weight train. So obviously what you're doing is working. It's just your expectations of all these pounds of muscle 
that you think you're going to get a game. All right, here's another thing. When you're attached to a number, like, I don't know, whatever it is that uh, you're, uh, I don't know, 5'10", 180. You know, you know you got some body fat that you need to lose. You're going to think you're going to train, weight train your way out and just change that illusion, lose that body through, fat through weight training. Let's just say you think, well, I'm 180 pounds. I know I got eh, 5 or 10 pounds to lose. I should weigh 170 pounds, right? You start getting active. start watching what you eat, right? And that number falls too quickly. You're at 170 pounds, and I'll tell you, if you got too much body fat, you're going to get down to 170 pounds, and nothing is really going to look like it changes because that number is too ambitious to look the way you want. If you attach yourself to a number that's too ambitious, like 180 pounds, 170 pounds, and you know you have body fat, I'll tell you again, it's going to play with your mind because you're thinking, wow, I lost all this weight. I don't look any different. I must be losing all of my hard-earned muscle mass. It's not the case. The chances are great you never had that muscle mass to begin with. You just thought you did. You attached yourself to a number without knowing. Right? And again, where does this, how is this going to hurt you? You're going to start dieting, doing what you need to look lean for that, that muscle separation. Right? That's through being lean. You're not going to build muscle to look this way. All right, you get yourself attached to the number, the number on the scale falls too quickly. You're going to think that you lost all your muscle mass, and then you're going to not worry about your diet at all, not dig in. And I'll come back to that later, but I just got to keep on training because I'm losing too much muscle mass. That's not the case, right? Losing that body fat, getting lean, understanding how your metabolism works. Tracking your calories. And I don't mean you track your calories every single day, but, you know, if you're uh, doing this and you're serious about it, the chances are great that you eat the same foods probably 70% of the time. You can just easily get an app, MyFitnessPal or whatever, and see what those calories are for the 70% of the time, and you can estimate the rest. At least you know how many calories you're eating. Right? I'm not talking about, you know, weighing every piece of food that goes in your mouth, every morsel not saying being ultra sick, you can never eat regular food again, but you have to know because that journey to getting lean and preserving your muscle mass is all about you optimizing your metabolism. And it's never going to just come from some chart on the internet that gets your height and weight, your mother's maiden name, your first pet's name or whatever they figure it out. And then boom, that's you. No, that's, that's maybe where you can start, but it's what your habits will optimize your metabolism, all right? So we got to get more to the, the eating process. I know a lot of guys throw it away, all right? They want to do that later. They think that this, all this weight training uh, is going to make them look the way they want in their physique, and it's not. Those type of things are going to throw you off right from the beginning. You got to understand all this, all right? So stick with me during all my workouts for Old Men Live. I'll, I'll break it down for you. The mindset, the lifestyle, the strategies, the systems, training, eating, and everything that goes along with it. Uh, make sure you're on all of my social media platforms. Uh, I'm posting uh, the powerful information and inspiration. I am obsessed. I am completely obsessed with helping older men like you and me take our health, our fitness, our energy, our optimism right, uh, to the next level. All right, so make sure you're on all of my uh, social media platforms. Make sure you're on my email list. I'm going to put that link down below. When you sign up to get my alerts, make sure you put your phone number down because I'll stay in contact with you by text. All right, you got any questions now or when you watch more of my videos, just text me. Again, I am obsessed with helping you uh, take your fitness and your life to the next level. All right, hey, uh, go to skiplacore.com front slash 2020. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I reach out. I want to know your situation. These videos are great, but a lot of times it's your perception and not knowing what it's quite like to go to the other side. Like, you know, what we talked about today, about getting lean creates the illusion of size. You're going to see me over the next couple of weeks, a uh, couple of months, get leaner and leaner. You're going to say, wow, he's gaining all this kind of muscle. No, it's I'm going to get leaner, and I'm going to show you that. But these type of distinctions, sometimes you can't get. And again, if you don't understand them, you're going to do all this hard work and just going down the wrong way of the freeway, right? Uh, the connection, me straightening out, making sure that you understand 
That's why I reach out and I talk to so many men just like you, just one-on-one, -on -one, 10, 15, 20 minutes answering questions. It makes me better what I do. It gives me uh, uh, more ideas, more topics to talk about. All right, so go to skippelcore.com front slash 2020. Tell me your most pressing question. Tell me your story. Uh, I will award a 90-minute one-on-one goal setting and strategy session every week uh, to a man just like you. And I'll tell you, expect to win when you fill out that question or over on skiplacore.com front slash 2020, 2020, because if, if I am moved, if I am moved by what I see, I'll reach out. Maybe you, I'll give out more of these 90-minute goal setting and strategy sessions. And you know, if you've, if you've seen me enough, you're saying, I want this guy, I gotta take my health and fitness to the next level. I wanna crack the code, I wanna figure out these patterns. Go to skiplacore.com, front slash transformation. I want you to join me for my ultimate 12 week transformation journey that is specifically designed for men like you and me, a little bit older with busy productive lives. It's the only one of its kind. So much one-on-one -on -one connection with me. We go into the group, uh, my age optimized uh, system, my AOS training system. I unveil that three different training routines that you can have for the rest of your life. It's a total package, right? So go to skiplacore.com for slash transformation and read all about, watch the video about my ultimate 12 week fitness transformation journey for older men. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Mark, hello. Uh, Josh, hello. Jeff, is watching Brian. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, uh, Bernie, hello, hello, hello. Glad that you're here. Uh, John, Aaron, good to have you here. Uh, Daryl, Masashi, good to have you here. Stephen, right, my wife, Carol LaCour, is watching from home. Uh, uh, Staten, Brad, good to have you here, Brad. All right, said hello uh, to Mark and Josh, Jeff. All right, guys, continue to post your questions, your comments, your suggestions down below. I'm so flattered that you're here. All right, uh, hello, John, John C. <laughs> Good to have you here. All right, again, continue posting your comments, your questions, your suggestions down uh, below. I will connect with you all throughout the day, all throughout the week, whatever it takes. Uh, hey, remember, it's the struggle that makes you strong, so keep on keeping on. Expect the best from yourself today. Expect the best from all this effort that you're putting in to take your body and your life to the next level. Expect the best from other people. They will get you. It's just a matter of time. How can other people not get you? You are a force to be reckoned with. Let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. we got to when we're a little bit older. we got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Train, eat, think produce, love, connect with a sense of urgency. All right, have a great day. Have an outstanding day. Have an awesome day. Think big and think bigger than getting bigger.